Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name's Sweaty, and in today's video, we're going to be going through a in-depth tutorial on how you can get wall penetration kills. Wall penetration kills have been a thing that's been implemented into this game for camo challenges, and I'm pretty sure for some challenges as well. For you to do it, a lot of people are going to certain spots on a few maps, but what if I told you you can do it on every single map? And I'm gonna be showing you every single spot you can potentially do it on, both good and also spots you cannot do it on, such as things that were implemented with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. If you enjoyed today's video, I would consider you subscribing. It really would help me out a lot. And other than that, it shows that you really do like content like this. And not just that, if you have any other questions or anything of which that you would like me to make an in-depth video on, comment down below what you're interested in, and I'll most certainly put some work in, and I'll try to get something together for you. But further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed today's gameplay. It is very interesting on many other things you can shoot through, and it'll probably catch your eye and you'd probably be extremely surprised. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these spots did in fact get patched by a invisible barrier and many other things like that, because some of these spots are extremely cheesy. All right, so starting right off, we're gonna be going through some things of which that you need in order for these wall penetration kills to actually happen. Starting right off, we're gonna be getting your preferred weapon. Essentially, LMGs do have this challenge on it. Unfortunately, some snipers have it too. A FMJ round to where you can increase your bullet penetration. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, there are a handful of different FMJ rounds you could use to help you get that kill that you need. FMJ rounds can be found under ammunition. Click on it, and essentially you're looking for something that's gonna increase your bullet penetration. Now, because you haven't leveled up a lot of your weapons, you'll have some of these locked, which is totally fine. You don't need the best of the best of FMJ rounds to actually get these FMJ kills. You just need one of them on to help you penetrate through these objects. So the FMJ rounds that we have available within the game are frangible rounds, hollow point rounds, tracer rounds, armor piercing rounds, round nose rounds, MMR mono rounds. And that is essentially it for every round that you could potentially use to do your wall bang kills in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now essentially out of all of them, the MMR mono rounds are probably the best because you get a lot of buffs with the round, but like I said, you don't essentially need this specific round to get these killed. Now with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 remastering a lot of the OG MW2 maps. Essentially, a lot of the maps that were in that OG MW2 game, the maps, a lot of the maps, the walls and everything else within the game were in fact made of paper. You can shoot through stone walls, you could shoot through wooden walls, brick walls, it did not matter. As long as you equipped FMJ and stopping power, you could shoot through the entire map, right? They've changed that a little bit in this game. Essentially, you can't shoot through every single wall in this game. And that's totally fine. But there are a lot of cheesy things you can do that you can in fact shoot through. And in this game, you can shoot through these materials. You can shoot through wood, metal sheeted walls, some brick buildings, and some stone buildings. But essentially, a lot of the soft targets I would look for if I were you are metal, plated, or sheeted objects, or wood objects because the probability of you shooting through these things are extremely high now granted some stone objects within the game you cannot shoot through it's unfortunate but hey we're going to go through afghan i'm going to show you all the spots of which that you can shoot through and like i stated we're going to go through every single map and just give you tips and tricks on what you can do really hope you enjoy it let's get right into it all right so getting right into it we're spawning in on afghan now some places in this map that may potentially seem like an extremely good spot most likely has a barrier in it to where you can't shoot through it. For instance, I'm just gonna show you real fast. These water towers right here, you would assume that you could shoot through these legs and kill people, right? But using our ammo box as an enemy, of course, let's say there's an enemy right there, can't shoot through it, which I find kind of weird because it's a very thin piece of, you know, metal and everything like that. And in Modern Warfare 2, the OG version of it, of course, you're able to shoot through stuff like this. But unfortunately in this game, you can't. So like I did state, you got your wood, your metal plated, your stone, and then your brick objects, right? So going through Afghan, this is spot one you can shoot through. Right here, right? We got a wooden beam right here. Same with somewhat right here and right here. Essentially what you're gonna do is if you see someone coming right here on that stone wall back there or right up there or right here, right? What you can do is you see them, just move over to the right, 
shoot through your wall. It's a wall penetration kill because you shot through something, correct? Same thing with uh, this right here. This is wooden, right? And to show you guys that it does work, we're gonna be using our ammo box as a enemy, right? So we're gonna go here, ammo box is right there. Got a hit marker. Gonna go crouch, ammo box is right there. Got a hit marker. Essentially, you can shoot through this and get you that bullet penetration kill. And of course, it is a wooden surface, so it's going to work out in your benefit, right? So here's spot one. Let me go ahead and show you the next spot you can get it. So like I did state, wood is something you want to look for. There goes another wooden pole. Now, the probability of someone coming in this area is pretty slim because it is not a high trafficked area, but it essentially is a spot you can sit in to get you that kill. And like I did state, we're going to use our ammo box as an example to where you can go ahead and see how it works. As you can see, shoot right through it. Let me go ahead and show you the next spot. All right, so here's the third spot you could get wall penetration kills on, on Afghan, right? So Afghan is an extremely open map, right? Coming just to look at it, it looks like it's gonna be really hard to get these penetration kills, but honestly, not really. You can come over to trees, right? Trees are a wooden object, of course, and to be honest with you, you can, in fact, shoot through them. For example, we're gonna use the ammo box as an example, and it's right there, got a hit marker. Right there, got a hit marker. Right there. Some places on the tree you can't shoot through. Oh, yeah, you most certainly can, most likely. But wherever you see a tree at, you could shoot through it. Now going up on screen right now, it's gonna be the location of all the trees of which you can get to in this map, and you can manipulate the trees to work in your favor. So with this tree, you could shoot people in that bunker right there. Right, and with that tree back there, which is another spot, you can go ahead and you can shoot people into this bunker just like this, right? Same thing with right here. You can shoot people coming this way by shooting through this tree. These two spots right here ain't really that popular when it comes to people moving around the map, but you can most certainly get some picks, essentially if you're going for these wall penetration kills. Let me go ahead and show you the other spots. All right, so here goes another tree. Of course, it's in a position which you can't really get that many kills in, but you can get a few picks throughout the map. So here's another tree. You can shoot people going into bunker, people coming this way right here, and people coming up right here, right? And of course, there's a tree over there. You can go over here and go to this tree. Probably climb up on this rock if you need to. Shoot people going into bunker like right here. Move it around. Shoot people coming up right here. Of course, the SAM turret might get in your way. It's unfortunate, but hey, you never know, right? It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and go to the next spot to where I can show you how to get penetration kills. So just like shown before, anything that's wood, just like these wooden beams, you can in fact shoot through. Example, just like before, I'm going to throw it out of my ammo box. You can get hit markers, right? So with this spot right here, it's in the middle of the cave. You can shoot people coming up right here. Just like so. This one don't really fit that much of a purpose rather than shooting people to the left of that doorway, right? Just like that. And of course, there's a wooden pallet over here. You could shoot through as well, but the probability of you getting kills in this spot is extremely low because the probability of someone coming to this exact spot right here in the middle is most likely very slim. But hey, it is a location of which you can get these ball penetration kills in. And of course, it's one of the spots of which you can do it in. So let's go ahead and get right into the next spot. All right. So of course, just like how we did it over there, here's another spot. It's a very small tree but yet you can manipulate this tree to work in your favor. You can shoot people coming right here. You can shoot people coming right here, right? Or if you need to, you can shoot people on that way. Or if you can get an angle on someone, of course, right there, you can shoot through there. But the probability of that happening, like I said, is most likely slim. That one I just showed probably won't happen. And another thing you could do, of course, is you can equip the assault shield, right? We're just gonna do that real fast. It's called the deployable cover in the game. So let me go ahead and kill myself and I'll be right back. All right, so we are back. I got the deployable cover. This is another thing of which that you can do to help you get these penetration kills a little faster. So you find the object or the spot of which that you wanna get these penetration kills in. You could just set your deployable cover down. I would recommend holding a piece of equipment such as a stun grenade not a frag grenade, but probably a sticky grenade. You walk up to your deployable cover, you jump with whatever button you use, and you just hold forward. Jump, you're on top of the deployable cover. And now, essentially what you have done, you've increased your height on the obstacle that you're using 
for wall penetration kills and it increases your height as well, which can increase visibility, which can help you see areas of the map that you essentially were not able to see beforehand. For example, we can now see all the way over there. Of course, it matters about where you have put your deployable cover to help you do this, but it does help. So you can go ahead and you can do this and many other things like that. And of course you can reposition your deployable cover when you get one, of course, and it can help to your benefit. So let me go ahead and show you the final spot on this map that you can get wall penetration kills in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final spot. It's right up here, right? Right up in C flag area in Afghan on top of the cliff. Now the area which you can get wall penetration kills on, like I did state, you have your wooden surfaces, your metal plated surfaces, your stone surfaces, and then your brick surfaces, right? This right here, as you can tell, it's a brick surface and you can in fact shoot through this. For example, we're gonna, we're gonna throw this down right here. Then we're just gonna shoot. The hit markers that you see me getting are in fact wall penetration kills, right? And every single one of these walls right here, you can in fact shoot through, but you cannot shoot through this one right here because it has these, you could say barricades right here, but you can shoot through parts of it, right? I, I know they put these here on purpose to where some scumbag couldn't sit right here the entire time and wall bang the people on the stairs. Really unfortunate spot you could probably sit in. It's pretty cheesy, but you can kind of do it right here. So yeah, spots you could sit in, you know, people's coming up, your head glitching it, go crouch, shoot through it. Uh, one thing I would recommend though is if you are going for these challenges in this spot, you get a kill, right? Rotate, rotate to a different spot. See someone, crouch, get the kill, get up, rotate to a different spot. Of course, change your angle. Of course, put get in a position of which you can shoot through something. See someone, crouch, shoot, crouch, shoot, you know, move within the direction that the enemy is moving in and you should in fact get the wall penetration kills you need. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and go into the next map. I'll see you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going on Durell right now. And of course, as you can see going right into the map, you see trees are everywhere. Just like shown on Afghan previously, you can in fact shoot through these trees and get the kills that you need. Now, one thing I am going to point out, which I did find out and it kind of made me a little sad, but it makes sense. These blue tarped fences, and of course, any other fence that is tarped within the game, you cannot shoot through it. For example, well, we're going to aim at our assault shield. Cannot shoot through it, man. So if you're around an area where there is a blue tarped fence or a tarped fence in general you cannot get killed through it and you also cannot shoot through it which is unfortunate of course but it makes sense if this entire area was wall bangable there would be no purpose for you to even step foot in here since you could shoot people through the wall it is what it is like i did state before there are some walls you can and cannot shoot through and a lot of these buildings right here essentially the two major ones that have like the metal plating on the outside and the metal plating on the inside, you can't shoot through these walls at all. See, we got it right there. Just cannot shoot through them. So this building, you can't really shoot through anything in this building other than probably the door, which there's no door right here, but there are doors in this area, of course, somewhere. Um, Probably, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they removed a lot of the doors on this map. But what you can do, you could shoot through this right here. You could shoot through the outer one, but not the inner one, right? You could shoot through the outside window, but you can't shoot through the inside window for some reason. I don't know why, but it's really, really weird. But you can sit here and you can look. You can't really shoot them directly going forward like this because you cannot penetrate this first one for some reason but the second one, you in fact can. So if you see someone in the window, you can kill them. See someone over there, if you angle it right, you could probably kill them. Probably won't happen though, because you need to have a little bit of an angle on the second one. And this doesn't work for this, it works for all of them in the map that have this window divider. So there's a window divider right there. There's one up here in the building. And there's one right over here on this catwalk right here. So there's a few spots you can get in 
but unfortunately there's only a handful of spots you can do it on in this map like i stated you could do it on all the trees and you could do it in these windows let me go and show you the other spots you can do it in all right we are on the right side of the map next to the wood shack right here <laughs> and this is a og spot where people would get headshots and essentially boost for nukes in call of duty modern warfare 2 but in this area it's really perfect because you could do this right here ladies and gentlemen you could place your deployable cover right next to it just like so get on top of it and then you can either go prone at an angle and you could shoot through this whole wall if you need to but you got to be careful though because you can't shoot through the roof right which makes sense but you could shoot people at a flag just like this but you don't got to go prone on the assault shield of course if you are using the assault shield but it's something you can do and to go prone on it you jump up on it go prone at an angle and just slowly turn and of course as you can see we're prone but you can shoot through this whole wall right here just like so not even just that you also have these wooden pillars right here in front of the building that you can shoot through as well if you need to just like the tree let me go ahead and show you the next spot you can get in all right ladies and gentlemen we're a little bit away from the last spot but this is another area which you could sit in you got this wooden fence in front of you you can go and go crouch behind it of course if you see someone from a distance preferably in this spot i'd recommend using some type of acog site or some type of zoom scope to where you can actually see from an area because it is a little foggy and you can't really see people that well in this game unfortunately but doing that you have a little bit more visibility you just go prone and just shoot through it same thing with these wooden beams of course you could shoot people through the wooden beams all three of them but i forgot how crazy of a head glitch this is back here holy yeah let me go and show you the next spot okay so we're on the far left side of the map near a flag which would be like right here i believe and we're next to this oil tanker and of course we're back here by this fence these fences just like how many of you probably have seen on social media these are probably the best spots to be in because you have extreme visibility and you could shoot through them right perfect um but of course the probability of you getting kills in the spot are really low because it's on a part of the map not a lot of people go to so you can go prone shoot through this if you need to whatever really works for you you can stand up you could wait or if you're in the enemy spawn of course you could farm your kills let me go and show you the next spot all right so this is gonna be like a two spot type of area so you got your wooden wall right here right of course it's not a high trafficked area but you can in fact shoot through this entire wall right here you could shoot through that metal plated back area right there and you could shoot through this whole area right over here so you could shoot through this that 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 right there that right there and that right there of course some of these areas like right here probably a perfect spot to farm these because right here is like the high traffic area of the map where you're going to see a bunch of people and you can go crouch kill people up in the windows left side of the map and to the map. and of course if you're spawn trapping and if you have an advanced uv up of course this will help you out a lot but you could shoot through this whole wall right here for many of you that probably don't know this a flag spawns spawn them in this building right here and that building over there and back here toward the little shop area right if you can farm the kills right here would be a perfect spot to spawn kill the people in let me show you the final spot on this map that you can get these wall penetration kills on all right we're in grandma's house if what a lot of people called it and you could shoot through this whole building which is really weird so of course these walls look like they're made of stone and everything but you could shoot through it exit example there's my deployable cover and you can shoot through it of course this isn't in a high traffic area but you can get some pretty decent picks from this place so you can pick them off right here pick them off in window right up here right you see them in window you see them up in window you could shoot through the window but of course you could shoot through any part of this map and a little bit of a bonus this right here would not count as wall penetration kills. As you can see, I'm shooting it. You see no sparks in the screen. Can't, wouldn't, wouldn't count. Which is really weird since it is a fence. But you could shoot through this right here. Let's go and go to the next map. All right, we're going to be spawning in on the state. We spawn right next to Fisherman's Hut. Of course, this is a spot that you can get wall penetration kills on. It's in a immediate to semi-decent spot of the map granted a lot of people wouldn't really rotate to this area unless it is the hard point of course but you can manipulate this whole building and shoot through it essentially because it is wood you can get the kills that you need 
for this map. Just like shown in the past two previous maps, you can in fact shoot through the trees and get the wall pin kills that you need. And of course, if you see something that looks like a brick wall, just like how we seen in the last map, and especially on Afghan, you can shoot through it to get your kill. So this map is full of a lot of wall bangable spots. And the probability of you getting all the kills that you need will probably be done in one game. So with this being the first spot, let me go and show you the next one. All right, so we're at the main house right here. And as you can see, you got your wooden walls and your stone walls. Now, some areas you can't shoot through, but for some reason, other areas you can. So what we've learned from the past two maps is you could shoot through all wooden objects and you can also shoot through windowsills as well. We're gonna use this car as an example. For a moment, and we should see fire start on the car, right? But we didn't because you can't shoot through that for some reason, it's bulletproof. But what you can do though, you could shoot through the wall. We're going to use the same car as an example, and we're going to shoot through the wall right here, right? See car is smoking. For some reason, the window frames in this map, you cannot shoot through. They're extremely bulletproof, but you could shoot through the bottom part and the right side part on some of these windows, right? Since this is wood right here, right here, you could shoot through these as well. And some parts of this building you can't shoot through, other parts you cannot. For instance, right here is a really good spot. They will spawn right behind that and right back here. So you can go crouch once you see someone shoot through the wall. Same thing with right here. See someone spawning right there. Go to the right. But just know, since you can't shoot them, they can shoot you. Let me go ahead and show you the next spot on the map. All right, so the next part of the map is this building right here. You can shoot through this whole building. It's really crazy. So this is a pretty hot portion of the map. You know, you can see a little bit of everything from this area. And to be honest, you can shoot through this whole building. You got your brick walls, you got your metal plated areas, you got your doors. Since you can shoot through doors, that's pretty solid. You know, you see someone coming, close the door, shoot it. One thing, <laughs> this is very ratty. Don't get me wrong, this is very ratty, but you can place your deployable cover right in front of the door. Um, can I even, I can't shut the door since I just put the deployable cover in the door. Okay. But if you place it a little bit behind the door, it's literally forcing itself into the doorway. That's so weird. Okay, so you cannot place it where the door opens. That's really weird. Did not know that. So you can place it exactly into the doorway to block the doorway, but you can't shut the door. Interesting. I just learned something. Nice. But you can shoot through this whole wall, right? Same one right here, right here, right here. And you can also climb on the second floor. Now, since this is wood, you could shoot through all the wood up here on this part of the map. And as well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the final two spots on the map. Here we are down here near um, A flag, I believe. And you could shoot through this whole building. You can literally shoot through every single wall, both first and second floor. So you can go ahead and farm your kills just like this. You see someone coming to the right, go prone if you need to. Basically just try to manipulate your movement in any way whatsoever where you can get the kills that you need. And not even just that, the final area of this map that you can get your wall penetration kills on are back here. There are two spots back here and it's really weird. So as shown on Durrell, you cannot shoot through these for no reason whatsoever. These tarp plated fences. But what you can do though, which is pretty cool, there's little areas that's purposely been left open that you can shoot through. And of course, if you're on this, place your removal cover right next to it to increase your protection, right? So that's one area right here. There's two of them right here, one right here, one right here, and then two more right back here. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick you could do, just like I was shown before. You can manipulate the deployable cover, jump on it, and now look at the angle that you got. Completely ridiculous, right? You can see all the way back there. You can see if you got your scope on, you can see the cliff up there. Same thing with right here, place your deployable cover down. Of course, the visibility of this one ain't the best, but of course you're able to see through the fence. And then last but not least, the last spot you can do your wall pen kills on right here. You could shoot through these doors right here. So for instance, you know, you're right here with your deployable cover. You can shut one of these doors, see someone coming, 
go to the right. See someone coming go to the right or vice versa. Shut one door, open the other door. Right? See someone coming. Go to the right. See someone coming. You know, move behind the object of which you shouldn't throw. You can shoot through this whole building, of course. Back here. Many other things. Also, just a little bit of a heads up. You could shoot through these brick areas right here. These metal plated areas right here. Now, if you are playing hard point, believe it or not, you can actually manipulate the spawns behind this. One thing that I did learn though is I forgot what hill it was, but you can get a deployable cover or something like that. You can, of course, manipulate it with your equipment and you could shoot through this wall right here. There's a spawn point behind this wall, which is really weird. If you have an advanced UV up, it'll help you out a lot on this map. Not just for the area that I'm just showing you right now, but in general, since all the walls are basically made of paper. You could just shoot through and spawn kill people. Let's go ahead and get right into the next map. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on Favela. Now this map is pretty easy because you got a lot of walls because of the buildings, right? So just like shown in a few previous map, instead of trees, you got these light poles and, well, I wouldn't say light poles, but power, power line poles, right? And you can shoot through them. You can shoot through these right here, just like so. Because you gotta angle yourself. And of course, we're just gonna go through Favela very fast because it's a pretty small map and it's very self-explanatory. So wherever you see the walls, right? Second floor right here, see someone? through it someone's in this building you could level this whole building out right with the hard point being in that building behind us this whole wall right here you can in fact shoot through you can shoot through this whole wall right here right someone's over there you can shoot through this wall right here. someone's over here on this roof you could shoot through this whole wall right here up here in the center part of the map you could shoot people down there shoot people up here Shoot people over here, and shoot people over here. All right, same thing with the lower part. Of course, you could shoot through this right here. Shoot through this. You can use this door and manipulate it to your advantage, right? You can shoot people right there, shoot people right here. Same thing over here, of course. You can shoot people through this wall. Shoot people through this wall right here. Here's a pretty cool spot. See someone coming. See someone right there. Shut the door. Shoot him. Right. See someone right there. Shut the door. Same thing right here. See someone right there. Shoot the door. Right here's another spot. See someone over here. Go left. See someone coming up. Go right. Whichever way you really want to go. Here's another spot. You could shoot through this door or you could shoot through the wall right here. Right here as well. Shoot through this. Shoot up there. Go over here. Shoot over there. Shoot over there. So this is a pretty small map and the areas that you can get wall penetration kills on are really slim but of course since it's a very dense map you can get so many of them in many different spots so of course one piece of advice i would give is if you are playing favela if you just find something that is either made of stone like this which you can shoot through this right you find something that's not so thick but pretty thin so brick or stone and wood or doors you can shoot through it. Let's go and go to the next map. All right, so starting right up on free for all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, going off right here on high rise. There's a lot of cheese spots you can get in, right? For instance, you could shoot through these walls right here. So proof right here. Right, these walls you can shoot through. This wall you could shoot through. This wall, this whole wall you could shoot through right here. You could be cheesy. Go like this. Well, of course, you could place your equipment down. And you could shoot through this whole... You can shoot through this wall right here. Basically, any wall you see on this map, you can, in fact, shoot through, which is pretty cool. So like I just showed you in Durrell and the other map, you can shoot through the other part, right? But you can shoot through this right here, right? So you go like this, you can go crouch, and you could one tap right here. This is probably the best spot right here for wall penetration kills because they spawn right there in that back corner. So if you're using a sight, you can shoot them right there. You can probably get all the penetration kills you need in one game on high rise. Doing it this way. 
You can shoot through these walls right here. Of course, there's stone. All right, so here's another cheeky little wall bang you could do. Basically, you're hitting, oh, you're hitting right here, right here in the spawn. So they'll spawn right here and they'll come down and around. You could shoot from right here to right there, right? So you wanna be on this right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventh step at the very end right here. You wanna aim right here. You wanna use the second notch in the wall right here as a guide and just a little bit over to the left of it and you could wall bang that wall right here. Cheesy as shit, I know, but it works, right? This wall right here works out crazy. Another thing on high rise is you can shoot through right here. You can shoot through this right here and you get your wall pin kill. You can also shoot through the mid part of the map right here and you can shoot through this next wall right here. But once you get to the tarp, you can't really shoot through it, right? You can shoot through this bricked area as well, but sometimes it can get a little weird since you got another area right here around the edge of it that you can't really shoot through, right? But you can make this work in your favor by setting down a portable cover, using a piece of equipment, or just jumping on top of it. And now you can shoot into their spawn right here, right? Let's go ahead and get into the next map. All right, so starting on, on Invasion, just like any other map, this map has a lot of buildings in it, and honestly, a lot of them are cheesy spots, right? Anything that has thin walls like this right here, you can shoot through, right? So for instance, this middle building is extremely perfect for doing this. You could shoot through this right here. I'll, sh I'll prove it to you. I'm gonna place this right here, mark it. Moving here. That's insane, right? So for instance, since you wanna be leveled, of course, with this. So if you wanna be leveled, you can level yourself up with the top of the elevator buttons and you can level this whole building down. You can advance UAV. Right in their spawn. Level. Right, of course, I shot right here because that's where I place my portable cover. But right here is where you will be able to shoot through the whole map and kill people. Same thing over here. You can level yourself up with the window pane, just like this, and you could shoot through all this right here. This is probably one of the best parts of the map as well over here. You could shoot through this whole wall right here. And right here. I'll do it for proof, of course. Moving here. Okay. You could shoot through this whole wall. Right here. Same thing over here. You could shoot through this wall. All right. So, like I did state, this whole map you can basically wall bang through stuff. Um, I just showed you the major parts. This is another spot right here. So they do spawn behind this building right here. You can level this whole building. By shooting right. Especially over here. And stuff. I don't think right here though because I feel as if there's, I did not know about this. What the, <laughs> dude, this is so ratty. There's some ratty spots in this game, dude. I swear to God there is. But yeah, you can just wall bang a lot of these walls in this map. And of course, if you can advance UAV, it's easy work because you can literally finesse the whole map to work in your favor. Let's go and get into the next one. All right, welcome back. I feel like a dummy, I just recorded this whole segment again. And uh, we're just gonna get right through it, right? So this map has a lot of doors, right? You can use the doors to your advantage and stuff. And essentially what you can do is you could shoot through these walls. A lot of the walls on this map, Karachi, are literally made of paper. One thing I would recommend you doing is right here in this spot, right? You can stand right here. If you look right here, you can literally shoot right up Moving here, you. right? little wall bang but you can also shoot anywhere right here within this little area so let's say you know you got a radar ping and you know you got your map open you ping with Moving your yellow here. marker where these are happening Moving and here. you know you're going to be running the chance of potentially getting a Moving kill because here. of it right so this is one spot another spot you can go to is right over here in this building this building right here in this building a lot of the walls in this map are in fact made of paper, so you can use these doors to your advantage. You could go right here, go back and forth, get your wall bang kills like so. Probably shoot through that and get a few kills. Um, right here, you can shoot through here, here, and here for these spots right here to get your wall bang. Same thing with right here. Yeah, some going to be right here, right there. You can use this door to shoot through if you need to. Same thing with this booth. You can shoot through this booth at this hard point spawn right here. 
This whole wall back here can be wall banged this way, right? Also, you can shoot through this uh, this elevator. This whole elevator is wall bangable. Proof right here. Moving here. Right. And I'll shoot over it. So you can shoot through this. You could shoot through that. You could shoot through these walls and the floor right here. You could level this hard point spawn out when people spawn. Also, you can shoot through the floor. Of course, shooting through the floor is gonna be a little difficult, but you still Moving can here. do it. Let me go ahead and show you real fast. It's a little difficult to get the angle off, but of course, if there's people down, that, down below, you can shoot them through the floor right here and as well right here. This, but this is the weird angle right here though, but you can do it. But your best bet's probably this room right here since it does cover a majority of the room, right? So there's that. You got these angles back here. You can shoot through this tree right here and you could shoot through this tree over here, just like so. You got this building right over here. You can shoot through this building just like this. Moving here. And like I said, if you are playing and you're getting radar pings, and you need to figure out where to shoot. Just mark Moving it here. with your map. And you should be able to get a pretty decent angle on where you have to shoot for this map right here. So one of the final spots I'm gonna show you real fast is right here in this area. I did not mean to do that. Moving here. You mark that right there. You can shoot through this whole back wall. You don't even have to be on the steps. Now, granted, you got to realize you're going to be leveled with this. So if I'm looking here, of course, I dip down a little bit, right? You're going to be basically leveled with like the cars in the back. And that's why I would recommend marking it on your mini map so you can figure out how high you are. Because if you see with me being level, my crosshair is on top of that triangle. And if you level myself up or yourself, you go down, you're below that triangle, right? Which means you're probably chest height and you can just shoot right through here, just like so and wall bang these people. But of course you can go further up and wall bang, further back, you know, and wall bang. It's all really just a personal preference on what you really want to do. I don't think you could do this, which it makes sense because it'd be really, really cheesy. But you can also go on this roof right here. Just a little, little bit of a spot real fast. And I think you can. Okay, so you can't, but you can get the angle and shoot right there, of course. And right here, this wall, since it's made of brick, you can shoot through this entire brick area. And as well, these walls right here, you can shoot through. With the wall down below as well, right down here. So you can shoot through this wall, that wall, that wall, this wall, these two walls, that door, them two walls, this door, this whole wall right here, this. And that's basically it for this map. Um, like I'm, I'm just going to keep on reminding you guys throughout this video. So I do apologize if it gets a little repetitive, but use your map, like your tack map, you zoom in and out and figure out what Over angle here. you got to shoot at, because honestly, that's where you're going to get some cheesy kills, man. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into the next map, shall we? Okay. So we're here on Corey. Now I've done recording this video a handful of times, unfortunately, but you know, but this one's going to be your final upload for it. So it's going to be pretty easy. Um, Corey is a very simple map to do this on. You can shoot through basically a lot of the walls in this map. Like I did state before, let's say you're right here. And we're going to use my assault shield as an example, as we have been this whole time. To where you can go ahead and try to get some cheesy angles on people, right? So for instance, there's a spawn right here, right? Moving here. There's a spawn right here. And you can shoot through this back wall right here. Just like so, right? You might need to move it around a little bit, but you can shoot through this whole wall right here. You might need to move around a little bit. But of course, for you to make these shots, you've got to understand you need to see radar pings just to tell if there's an enemy here. But also, you can also shoot through this wall as well, right here. Right, and I think you could shoot through the back, but we're just going to do this for now. I'm going to place one right here as well. I'm going to mark this one, but of course, since this one's pretty close, we could try to shoot that one as well. Moving here. And like I said, like a lot of these walls in this game are made of paper since they're basically remastered versions of the MW2 maps. But honestly, I would not be surprised 
that you cannot shoot through some things. Just like as you see, the one on the left we can't shoot, but this one we can't, which is fine. And uh, you can go up here, and you can shoot through a lot of these walls as well, right? Now, you see how there's no sparks? You need the sparks on your gun right here to count as a penetration kill. And these windows right here, these ones probably, if you can get the angle since you do see like the bullet hit, but a lot of these windows, like for instance, these ones, do the top of it top part of it don't but the bottom part does it's really weird i really don't know why so i'd be careful with these windows right here but i know the wall right here i mean you can get some cheeky angles on people from a distance right you, know, you see someone move over to the left if you need to same thing with these down here you can shoot through these walls right so it's a pretty cool spot to have and then right over here, there's a fence. You can use this fence to your advantage. Go to the right, just like so. Now you'd see that there's this right here. You can use this to your advantage right here. But what you cannot use is this right here. This fence, you shoot right through it. There's no sparks on the fence whatsoever. You need the sparks just so that you can get the cue that you can shoot through that. You can shoot through this whole bottom floor of the building and the top floor. Also, you can shoot through the shipping container right here. I'll do this right here just to show you. Moving here. Right, you can shoot through that. You can also maneuver on top of the container to get into the building right here, rather than running around. And you can shoot through the walls on this on all sides, and especially on the top part right here too. Of course, playing quarry, it is a little bit of a slower paced map unless you do know the spawns. But up here, you can use this to your advantage. You know, you see someone, of course, when you're moving back and forth, try to stay on the rail right here. If not, you're going to fall. But you see someone move to the right, get a wall bang on them, and you can rotate, move to the left, you know, do what you have to do. Same thing with right here. See someone, move over. See someone down here, move over to the right, all that fun stuff. Same thing with the middle part right here in quarry. Right. You can go down here, not right there, since that's basically full of stone, but you can shoot through this whole bottom part if you need to. You can manipulate the doors to work for you. You know, you got people coming here, move over, shoot through the door. Same thing with this building right on over here. You run over to this building. You can shoot through this building, right? They'll spawn here. There's some odd spawn points here. If you can catch them off guard, you can shoot through this. You can shoot through the wall, whatever you really want to prefer, right? You could shoot through this whole building right here, especially, I don't think you could shoot through this though, but I could be wrong, but you can, right? And then the last place you can't shoot through is this building right on over here. Pretty cool. Um, Just like shown previously, you could shoot through the walls all through here. And I think this gate right up here, you can shoot through, but I'm assuming you can't, but we're going to try it out anyway. So we're going to get the assault shield out. So like just shown previously, you see no sparks. So you, this right here would not count as a wall bangable spot. But just so you guys know, you can do that. So yeah, um, I'm assuming just like how I did show you beforehand, and I'm just gonna show you real quick too. Let's say someone's camping on the scaffolding or that's in this window right here. You can use your tack mat to ping it, right? So I'm just gonna place down two of these real quick to emulate a person sitting in this spot, right? Let's say you're right over here. We're gonna use the corner of this building as an example, since it does look like it's a pretty clear angle you could potentially get. So you'll be right here, right behind this. And since you got this, you can ping. We're gonna go for the Ooh, left here. one real fast. Right. Just mid button real quick, see if we can shoot this corner. So yeah, you can shoot right here, but for some reason, it's a little inconsistent. But like I said, peeing it will help you out a lot throughout this whole shooting through the map strat. Can I even climb up here? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is this is amazing. So yeah, you can... I don't think you can shoot through that. Oh yeah, but I didn't know about this spot. That's pretty cool. And you can even climb a little higher. I wonder if you can climb even higher than this. I don't know. Getting sidetracked right now, guys. I'm sorry. Holy crap, you actually can. Holy... Wow, that's... um. No way. That's a uh, whole, oh yeah, that's, um, oh wow. That's a very interesting angle to kill the person that's here. in the window. And this would count as an, a wall bang. 
So yeah, use the salt shield, climb up here, get on this box, and get that angle off on that person. And I'm pretty sure you could probably go even further, maybe? Who knows, right? You can probably do some other things too, like sprint jump. I don't know. I think this was purposely put here to get that angle off, but that's a really crazy angle, right? Just like so. Get a wall bang on that person camping up there. And honestly, this is a really campy spot, right? But yeah. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next map. Let's go and get it. All right, so if you spawn on this side of the map and you run over here to the right and get a head glitch right here, you can literally start shooting if you want to and try to get a first blood, right? Um, with Rundown being a very condensed map with a bunch of buildings and stuff, this is a perfect map to get wall bang kills. You could shoot through every single building in this game on this map, right? But I'm going to show you this cheeky spot real fast. I call it cheeky because right back there, if we zoom in, there's a spawn point right here next to a palm tree. I'm aiming right here. Moving here. Right? So directly at a spawn. So all you really got to do, if you have an advanced UV up, it helps out a lot. But just You could tap fire. And you could get kills. Not necessarily when they spawn, but around the time that they spawn, you can shoot them. And because it's such a very heavy area over here when it comes to foliage and everything like that, it's going to be really hard for these people to shoot you because they can't really see you. Pretty cheeky spot. I can't lie. You can shoot through this wall right here since it is a brick wall, but you see there is no... There's no indicator of uh, your bullet going through. So I'd avoid shooting through that one. But a lot of these buildings right here you can shoot through. Right here, right? You get an angle right here, move left. Get an angle right over here, you know? Shoot there, shoot here, shoot there. But you can also do this as well too, right? You could just post up here, figure out where you need to shoot. Let's say you're gonna shoot here. Aim for the triangle or the bottom of the triangle, right? The triangle is, the bottom of the triangle is basically where you wanna shoot at. So you aim at the bottom of the triangle, shoot there, change your location. Let's say someone's in the second floor of this building, which would be right here. Moving here. Right? Top of the triangle. Right? Eh, well, not necessarily. You're just being like here. right there, right? Or moving here. Right there, just to get the bottom of the triangle in the house. And you could just shoot that right there. Um, over here on this far right side of the map, you got this overlook right here. Same thing kind of works. Of course, you're going to be a little exposed, but you can ping right here. Moving here. Of course, the bottom of the triangle is where you want to shoot at. And you have an angle right there going back into this spawn. Like I showed before, this map is full of trees and metal plated areas, such as these walls too. And you could shoot through all this, right? And I'm gonna show you guys a little cheeky angle. It's, it's pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. So you'd be right here. We are looking all, well, that's a little too far, but we're looking all the way back here, right? Moving here. You see, if you have a scope on your gun, you can get a lot of picks like this. It's a pretty ratty spot, don't get me wrong, but you can get that angle off. Same thing with right here. Place on the salt shield, using your equipment to jump up. And now you're mounting on top of something you originally were not able to mount on. Look at the view that you got. You can see literally almost the entire part of the map. And of course you can manipulate a lot of things like this. You could do it to this back wall as well too. I'm assuming you can. Use your equipment to get up. You can't mount but you can shoot all the way back here. Same thing with right here with this tower, placing your salt shield down. And of course you get some ratty angle off going on into that part of the map, right? Your goal in this game, such as Call of Duty or just anything in really, Call of Duty is like a huge chess game. And the more you can basically out predict the people that you're playing against, the better it is for you to succeed in achieving whatever you're trying to achieve such as winning a round, winning the game, or even getting a nuke, right? So you can shoot through this whole building right here, right? You can shoot through this whole top part right here. And right here is the spawn I was just showing you about earlier. So they'll spawn like right here. And when they go to turn this corner, you see right back there is where we were. You cannot see us, but you can, you can literally shoot all the way back this way, which is insane, right? Then you got these middle buildings here. You can shoot through, no problem. Right, here's an angle you can get in, right, shoot through. Here's an angle you can get in, shoot through. But you see there's a window right here, place on your salt shield, go up, and now you can see more. You can probably go prone too, I'm not sure. 
but you can get some ratty angles here, but also downstairs as well. You can place your assault shield down, get your equipment, crouch, and then you got another angle on people. It's pretty ratty, don't get me wrong. This is, this is very toxic gameplay. I don't really recommend playing like this, but there's a lot of things you can do to, like I said, outsmart and outplay the people you're playing against. Also, another thing you can do, which is pretty ratty, you could post up in the corner, right? Literally what just I showed you, you see that there's people on your mini map in these areas. You just do a quick mark. If you did it right, you should be able to shoot the bottom of the triangle, but sometimes it'll probably ping it on top of a building. Just give it a quick glance and give it a quick ping if you can, just to fix it, right? And then you got up here in this building, you can shoot through the walls all right here, going down too. So that, that works out pretty well. You get some crazy angles just like before. And that's basically just gonna be a rundown, right? A lot of these buildings, you can shoot through the walls. Granted, some of them don't have windows, but if you do it just right with the ping method I showed you, like let's say you come and you wanna try to like watch this lane right here, you now you can give it a quick ping Moving here. and you open up your mini map, right? And you see that you're looking right here. But of course we were right here earlier on the bridge. I'm thinking we were right here. Right. So you, you can manipulate this map to work for you for these wall bang kills. And there's a, uh, let me just show you some quick spots real fast too. So you can post up here with an assault shield, right? It's a little bit of a head glitch. You can pick them off when they go right here. And you can also remember you can shoot through all of this. Right. Another spot you can get in for mid map is right here. It's a little bit of a head glitch spot. You can head glitch this right here. Just know you are vulnerable a little bit to your left, so you can creep over, but you will fall. That's basically it for a rundown, right? Some cheeky spots, some really, really cheesy spots, and uh, you know, you can just wall bang almost everything. Granted, you can't wall bang everything since a lot of these things are very, um, very thick when it comes to like structural um, in-game support, such as stone walls and stuff like that, and barriers. Um, but you can get right here too. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. I seen a guy do it on Twitter. If you guys do it on Twitter, but you can get right here. I'm not sure how they did it. I don't know. We're going to try a few more times. Just going to try to show you spots and stuff like that. But yeah, tell me what you think below in chat so far on how everything is. I think they jumped backwards. Yeah, I think that's what they did. They went just like so. I'm tripping, bro. All right, there we go. And then they, I think you can place an assault shield here. No, you can't. They, they've jumped basically on top of this right there, but I can't really do it since, you know, I just can't. But yeah, that's going to be it for this map. Let's go ahead and get right into the next map, shall we? Okay, so we're here on Rust. Um, a lot of the things you can do, you can shoot through this wall right here, right? You can shoot through this wall going here, or there, or even over here, right? <laughs> Don't even do that. I'm tripping. Um, so when you're spawning in the corner on tanker, you can sit on blue generator right here. And you can shoot through this wall right here and you can spawn kill them, right? That works out amazing. Right here, you can head glitch this right here. You could wall bang this right here if they're coming underneath B, which it is a thing, right? Right over here in this corner, you can shoot through this fence at that spawn point. It does work and you can get your wall penetration kills. Right here in the middle, you can shoot through this whole metal plated area right here to get your wall penetration kills, especially right here as well, right? And that's that's basically it. Rust is a really small map. Um, granted, there's a lot of things you can and can't do, but when it comes to wall penetration kills, the spots I literally just showed you are probably the best spots, especially the blue generator and this fence, because this fence, you shoot into that spawn down there. Blue generator, you're shooting through this into there. And if you need to, honestly, you can place an assault shield right here against the wall right next to the blue generator climb up on the blue generator or whatever and now you're even higher and we're going to use this as an example because the spawn will spawn right here in this corner of the map in a few different spots Moving here. but just to show you that it does work i'm going to show you with the blue generator first right but i'm going to show you with this as well too right move over a little bit to your left and essentially that's it you're just going to be shooting them right as they spawn. Honestly, on Rust, you could probably get your penetration kills done in one game. But yeah, since Rust is a really small map, that's going to conclude it for this one. Let's go ahead and get right into the next map, shall we? So right off the rip, as soon as you spawn on this side, I'm just going to show you the spawn shots real fast since it is kind of weird. 
So you can spawn here, instantly start shooting right here, right? The reason why is you could shoot through this wall, and anyone that is going to come left side, you will probably pick off and kill, right? Vice versa as well, if they spawn inside this building like they always do, then you can literally spawn and start shooting through this wall. So you'll spawn right here, right? Run over here real quick, start shooting through this wall. If you need an indicator, of course, just spawn right here. Shoot just like that, right? Same thing with the second floor. Start coming up on the second floor. Start shooting through the wall. And you'd probably get a few picks, right? But yeah, you could shoot through this building right here on the second floor as well. Be careful around the windows. You can't, the windows are in fact bulletproof, just like how they were on the estate. So you can't really shoot through them for some reason, which is really weird, but it is what it is, I guess. This map does have the metal fences right here. You can shoot through them. You can go up here, sprint jump up here. Now it doesn't let you get all the way up here for some reason, I'm not really sure why, probably because it is a very ratty spot. But you can shoot through this wall right here at that door or anywhere really, especially right here in the center. And you could just get some picks off on people. Same thing with right here. You can shoot through this wall. Let's say you're shooting near the back of the building right here. You can shoot through this wall. You could shoot through this door. You can also, let's say you're spawn trapping them kill confirm. They'll spawn inside of this building. You could shoot through this whole bottom layer right here. You cannot shoot through this fence, right? If you're looking at the wall, you see how, how my bullet leaves a marking. None of my bullets are leaving a marking on that wall, meaning there is an invisible barrier right here, making it where our bullets don't go through it, which is fine. But if you stand right here in this corner, you can shoot inside of this whole bottom floor of this building, which is cool because their spawn is right here. So with you not going through this door, you can manipulate the spawn to work in your favor right here. And this is one of them spots where I wouldn't be surprised if it got nerfed, right? Um, same thing right here. You could shoot through this whole bottom floor. I'm just gonna show you real fast. Can't do it with a pistol without FMJ, but with FMJ you can. But like I did say, you can shoot through this right here. here. Looking at it, you're right here in the corner of the building and you can shoot through all of this. Going up on the second floor, you can shoot through this, this, and this back wall. For instance, I'm gonna use that back wall, right, where it says one, as an example. And let's say someone's head glitching right up here, right? Moving I'm gonna here. ping that out. Just so I can show you guys that this does work, right? So we're gonna go ahead and run up here. You can shoot them from the side of the building, from the top of the building, or prone, doesn't really matter. Just as long as you're able to ping it and get an angle off, that's all that really matters. Another building you could wall bank through is this middle building right here. There's a lot of weird angles you can get on people, just like this one right here. Do it just right, jump and crouch. Try to figure out what part of this right here we might have to reposition this all to. I gotta try to get it to where it doesn't elevate itself. It looks like it's gonna have to, huh? All right, there we go. And you could get an angle off on the heglitch right here and shoot anyone that comes this way. And you could kinda get an angle on top of the building right over here. I said kinda, you can't really see it, but you do see a window, which I kinda wanna see where that goes. So I'm just gonna ping that real fast. Moving here. All right, so you can't really see into the building, but you can kind of get a wall bang on that corner. Um, in the OGMW2 days, that corner people would camp in to call in their AC-130 and stuff. But since Scrapper is a small map, that's basically just the rundown of it real fast. Um, honestly, like I said, you find a spot you want to chill in, make sure you do ping it. Like you look at it previously and you can ping it with your yellow Over marker, here. right? Just like that. And that's going to be a spot you're going to kind of be patrolling. And of course you get to the location you want to get at, like down here. I don't, I don't uh, yeah, you can. You can do it down here, upstairs, whichever one you really want to do. And a lot of these walls that I did show that you can shoot through, you can shoot through this as well. So let's say you're chilling right here, right? And you're concerned about people coming on B flag. Of course, on the right side will be better than the left because you do got this big forklift in your way. So B flag's right here. What's well, right here? Moving but here. We're gonna say it's right here. You can chill on the other side of this wall, just like so. And you can shoot through it. If you want to be a little bit more cheesier, you can go from an angle and 
shoot them just like that. Pretty ratty, I know, but hey, you know, it is what it is. There's a lot of things you can do to have it work in your favor. You know, place an assault shield down, get in this corner, wall bang them there. And of course, this wall bang spot right there will probably work for a lot of other places too. It's just a lot of things you can do. You know what I mean? There's just a lot of things you can do in this game. You can wall bang through this brick wall entirely. So yeah, since Scrapyard is a pretty small map, there's not that much you can do in it. Um, but there's a lot of spots you can get in. So for instance, you can go in this box, place your salt shell down. And now you can see into the second floor of the house. And a little bit of mid, if you jump around a little bit, you could just, you know, hit people. And since you do see the sparks on this fence, it does in fact count as a wall bang, right? Yeah, with that being it for Scrapyard, let's go and get right into the next map, shall we? Okay, so coming right up here on uh, on Skid Row, I was about to say Scrapyard. There's a spot right here. If you post it behind here, you get a wall bang, get kills like that. I think you could do it with this fence too. Cannot. So a lot of these fences back here, you cannot shoot through and get wall bang penetration kills on. Hence, you don't see no sparks when you shoot through it. But you can do it on this side as well, especially with people come left alley can shoot them especially up here too you can place an assault shield down you can angle up on this just like so crouch and now you got an angle an alleyway right you can shoot through this whole door whole wall same thing with up here you can shoot through this for either angle you want to get on to get your wall bang kills we're going to go all the way down here and vice versa you can go ahead and you can shoot through this wall through this wall for the alleyway wall bangs this right here this this spot works so perfect because you could shoot through the door and the entire hallway for wall bang kills right this wall this wall that mattress that wall that wall you could shoot through these two walls these two walls this whole wall right here basically this whole second floor you can shoot through right um a few things i want to show you real fast though Let's say we spawned on the side we spawned on, right? And you, we, we spawned over here, enemy spawned over here. Essentially, what I'm about to show you is you can prevent first, you can get first blood in two spots, right? So for the first blood, a lot of the times people will run down below. You can shoot through this door, get a wall penetration kill, right? And then after you're done shooting at that, you're gonna be shooting right up here at this window, Moving right? Here. Right here. Gonna be using that as a reference guide, kind of. So essentially this is what's gonna happen, right? Game's just starting, right? Game started, we spawned right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and go on the original spawn point. So we spawn here, game's counting down, game just started, right? We're running, we're sliding, we're doing our thing, right? Boom, you start shooting, right? Shoot here, level that out, go up, boom, shoot that. You can clear that whole bottom floor out with wall banks and as well, you're shooting at the window, preventing them from getting up top if they do go room. And that is huge when it comes to rotating, because after you do that, you'll go up here, you'll slide, and you'll start shooting right here for window. And of course, when someone's back here or whatever, you can, you know, start pre-firing this right here and get a few kills like that. And then you could just rotate and go wherever you want to go in the map. But this next map I'm about to show you is very, very awesome. It's just like the OG Skid Row, right? So of course, if you played Modern Warfare 2009, you know that there's a hole in the wall right here, right? But there's not no more. But you still can shoot through it. So we're gonna use two assault shields as references, of course, because the angle is a tad bit weird. So we're just gonna be going for one of these two. Moving here. But we're gonna ping that right there. And you can lay down and shoot through the floor, believe it or not. So you'll have to lay down on this side right here and basically put your aim down as far as possible line up with this carpet wherever and aim at the wooden plank and you should be able to wall bang through this whole bottom floor right here it's really cheesy man and uh i don't know it's it's pretty funny um a spot you can get in on here is right here you can get up here on water tower and as well over here you can also get over the here on this fire escape um it's just like the og skid row spot you know you climb up here climb up here climb on the fence, sprint jump, jump up on here, and now you're on here. Um, you could probably wall bang through this as well, uh, but it's a little bit of a weird spot, so who knows, maybe you can. Um, you can wall bang through this as well. Um, in the beta, 
I died by someone with a pistol shooting at a teammate right here and I was on the other side of the wall down there. But from my testing from the last time I recorded this video, you can somewhat shoot through this wall, but not really like you were able to in the beta, which is weird because I, I was like one or two off a nuke. I was rotating back this way and I got three shot through a wall by a pistol, dude. You know how upset I was, man? I was like, what? Right? It's stupid. Um, you can shoot through this whole bottom floor of this building here. You can shoot through this wall right here, right? And if you really want to be cheesy, you can place this. I think you can place this sideways, just like so, right? And you can get a cheesy little head glitch behind the wall into alley right here. I'm gonna use this right here as an example. Here. Of course, when you're doing this, make sure you do use your equipment to get on top, right? You can shoot through this whole area right here whole top floor of this building um in the ogmw2 there used to be a mini gun turret right here there is no longer a mini gun turret and you cannot wall bang this right here. this is bulletproof pretty weird but you can shoot through this whole top floor if you need to that's basically skid row right you know it's a pretty pretty chill map you know you're doing your thing right here's another wall bang spot you can fill in right here a little bit of weird angle, but you can get your kills. But that's basically it, right? Skid Row's a pretty chill map. Um, honestly, like, like the, what I showed you on this side is insane. You come down here, you start shooting through the wall, level it out to the left, go up to your left, boom. You literally got the chance of either killing a bunch of people, some people, or upsetting a lot of people to the point where they might assume that you're cheating, right? Then after you do that, rotate, you go up here, level yourself out. You know, as you're going up, you can use the bottom of the LN2. You know to get yourself level to where you're able to sit here and spray that window and then spray that out right there if you really want to be that person then of course you can go right here crawl up aim down as far as you can with whatever weapon just to where your crosshair touches this probably line yourself up a little bit to the right a little bit probably in that middle of this right here or a little bit to the right on top of it doesn't really matter right here and you just aim at the wooden plank and you start shooting that's gonna basically be it for Skid Row. Pretty awesome map. Nostalgia's there, man, but there's a lot of cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in the next map. Okay, so we're here on Subbase, right? Pretty chill map. Um, starting right off, you can shoot through these tarp fences right here. Um, I'd be a little careful though, because the tarp ones you get bullets. Um, your registration saying that something's being shot, but on the actual fence, it doesn't say that, so I'd be careful shooting people through this, but you still, in fact, can. Of course, you've got your assault shield. You can get a head glitch. See someone crouch, shoot, crouch, shoot, crouch, shoot. You know, do what you have to do. Um, you can manipulate doors to your advantage. You know, you got someone coming up the left flank right here. Shut the door, shoot at them. You know what I mean? Uh, right here, these walls right here, you can also do the same thing. Angle it up, shoot someone through it. Same thing with this door right here. You know, you can manipulate this door to work for you. If you open it this way, you can place an assault shield behind it, like right here. Holy crap, dude. Will it not let me? Okay. And you can post up on a head glitch right here. You see someone crouch, see someone crouch. Pretty cheesy spot, man, don't get me wrong. Pretty, pretty cheesy. Um, so since Subbase is basically a very, very thick structured map, there's only a handful of spots you can in fact shoot through. For instance, like you could shoot through this whole building, right? This whole building, all walls and stuff. Uh, right here's a cheeky spot. You can get right here in this corner. And just like how I showed you before, let's say, you know, someone's second floor of this building. Moving here. Of course, it's going to be hard because that, that's the roof of the building right there. So what you're probably going to have to do, which it does suck, is ping it normally. But you can actually shoot them on that second floor. And as well, first floor, wherever else you really want to. Um, especially doing stuff like that, UAVs and as well advanced UAVs will be your best friend. You could shoot through these walls right here, right? Just like so. You could shoot through these walls right here, all of them. So let's say you're on the second floor, you're doing your thing, right? Right, shooting them and stuff like that. Um, you can manipulate the doors to work in your favor, just like before. Get on it. Your head glitching. See someone, shoot them. You know what I mean? And you know, just keep on doing your thing, right? Same thing up here. I think I broke the glass. Uh, no, I almost broke the glass. I was pretty close, but not really. 
Um, you can shoot through these walls right here. Right? Uh, same with back here. There's a spawn point actually back here. Right here, there's a spawn point. Here. Not up there, but down below. They'll come around this corner. You can shoot them just like so. And down here, this is where you can manipulate the door to work for you. You know, you see someone's spawning. Shoot through it. Shoot through this whole, whole wall. Excuse me. Same with right here. This is a pretty ratty spot. You can post up right here. Shoot them when they come around. Same thing right here. They're going to come through the middle. Here. Use the door as a surface you can wall bang with. Just like so. Same thing with this right here. You can post up behind this. They come, they spawn around the corner right here. Moving here. Right, so you can be like this. And wall bang them through that right there. Same thing with up here. Um, there's an angle you can see right here. What I did notice is this hot square portion, you cannot shoot through for some reason. Like it shows no registration for bullets being shot through. So if you are shooting through this, make sure it's the middle that you're hitting, right? Hit the middle part on this wall, you should be fine. Um, you can climb up behind this door, right? You can climb up behind that door and get a head glitch on it. That that can work, in fact. Um, but of course, it's one of them weird spots to where it probably you'll probably fall just like how I did over and over and over again. But you can get wall bangs just like so. You know, you're jumping around, jumping around. Of course, if you jump on it, it's going to move the door around. So just be careful, of course. Uh, whenever you're jumping on a surface, using a piece of equipment, angle yourself up. There you go. You can wall bang through this. And yeah, that's basically it for subbase. Um, it is a pretty small map, of course. Um, but let's see if uh, they patch this right here. I seen it on Twitter the other day. I was like, what? Okay, so how did they do it? They did this. Oh, did they nerf it already? Oh, no, they didn't. Then they jump. Oh, wow. Ha! So it does work still. That's so cool. Um, basically, you can run on a telephone pole right here. <laughs> That's so cool. And you could uh, get on top of the building. Oh, no. Um, I'm going to try that one more time. That was actually pretty cool. I might actually try that in pubs this weekend <laughs> and try to get a nuke in it. Um, I'd probably get banned. Who knows, right? wonder, can I jump on other ones, right? Can I jump on this right here? Can I climb this pole? Oh, no, okay, so that pole you can't climb on. Seems like a lot of these spots were intentional, since some of these poles have an invisible barrier, some of them don't. Um, but this is pretty cool, right? Brings back nostalgia and all that fun stuff, so... Yeah, looks like oh, there's an invisible barrier. I, f I, I feel it. It's knocking me off. So getting on top. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I'm on top. Sweet. And you can basically be all around this right here. Pretty crazy, right? Of course, there's an invisible barrier right here. <laughs> you can hide inside of your dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is interesting. Very interesting. So you, I don't know if you can climb up. So you jump down, you're down for good. But yeah, this is a... Uh... Yeah, this is a spot and stuff for a sub base. Hold on, wait a minute. What? What is this? Okay, I fell. So yeah, there's a lot of cool spots you can get in, man. Um, That's going to basically conclude it for sub base. Let's go and get right into the next spot, shall we? So we're here on terminal, right? Um, How did people get up? Okay, so this is how people got up here. I was confused on how people got out here. Um, We're playing on terminal, right? So... This map, the wall bangs that used to be on this map a lot basically got nerfed, but some of the OG spots, just like the one I'm about to show you, actually still do work, which are very convenient. So Moving we're going to mark that. So a lot of the times people are going to be camping on the second floor right here. You can uh, level yourself or whatever you really want to do, and you can level this whole second floor of lower AC out, right, to get your wall bang kills. Um, over here, there's a spot you can get in. It's a little... A little hard to get in at times, but you can post up here. Of course, mounting on it's bad. Don't don't mount. But you can jump right here, post up right here, and you could, you know, get some kills just like this, right? Um, in the OG MW2 spot, you could lay down right here and wall bang main spawn. But they put an invisible barrier there and these four walls right here, so you can't really shoot through these. Um, right here at bathrooms, you used to be able to shoot through the bathrooms and get kills. I did it the other day on this game, but I'm assuming they put a invisible barrier here because I cannot shoot through this wall for the life of me. And I'm about to show you real fast too. Here. It's pretty unfortunate if I'm being honest. Oh no, you could shoot through this wall and hit them. But 
through uh right here you cannot like you used to be able to which is unfortunate man because you know it was like a terminal like secret not many people knew about it you know but yeah you can shoot through i think you can shoot through the gift shop actually no you cannot there's a uh, bullets can only go through so many walls but you can shoot through this wall right here um right here in this corner you can shoot through this whole wall right here Behind this wall is a bookcase, so you can shoot through this whole thing right here, right? This bookcase right here, as you can see the bullets are going through to right there. If you do it just right, you can shoot them up there. Um, Burger Town, you can shoot through Burger Town, of course. Right, you can get this angle right here. Wall bang Burger Town right there. And of course you can get this angle here. Wall bang Burger Town right there. That works phenomenally. Um, if you got a grenade launcher, you stand like this far back right here, and you angle it just right through this window, you're gonna hit AC right here. Moving here. Right? A lot of the times people camp up on AC, so if you shoot your grenade launcher back and forth like this, you can kill the person camping on top of AC, which is very cool in my opinion. Um, it's pretty cheesy. Uh, right here, you can place an assault shield, get on top of it. And now you got an angle at C flag right here or a little bit over. You can wall bang this and get wall bang kills just like so, right? Especially with this back wall, you can shoot through these two walls right here at someone who's coming stairs or plain side. Um, I wonder if that glitch still works for a uh, terminal. Probably does. Who knows? But yeah, they, they nerfed it. Because you used to be able to jump on top of that plant. And get on top of terminal but i don't know yeah they uh looks like they fixed it because you would jump on that plant right up there didn't go over um probably you could probably manipulate it with a few things but it is what it is right um and one of the final spots i'm going to be showing you is uh you can shoot through this whole part right here right these two windows you can wall bang through them you can shoot into the plane just like this and vice versa you can go to the back of plane right here. You can shoot to A flag right there. You can also shoot to mid about right here. And just level this whole part out if you need to. And that's basically it really for wall bangs on terminal. Um, you can wall bang through some of these walls. For instance, you can't really shoot through this wall right here. It's weird, but you can't really wall bang it. I don't know why. I had a lot of trouble doing it, but you can somewhat shoot through this wall and the other walls as well, especially this whole wall right here, which is pretty cool. And that's basically it. But just like I stated, I want to show you guys the grenade launcher thing to where you guys can, you know, see. But you see the glass. Oh, where's the glass that I broke? I can't really tell where the glass that I broke. Oh, right there. That's the glass that I broke. Literally goes right onto top of the AC. So let me go ahead and place two assault shields down and kill myself. Then we're going to pull out a grenade launcher and actually shoot up here. Three, I, three guys can see that cheesy angle, right? Right. So there's... Oh, I didn't even equip it. What? That's weird. There we go. Right. Let me kill myself real fast. Um, I I did this <laughs> the other day. Actually, I did it yesterday in hardcore. And I know the guy I killed was upset, dude. Because he was on a big kill streak. And you hear thump, 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 thump. Just to get killed by a guy <laughs> with a grenade launcher, dude. <laughs> Funniest thing ever, man. So like I said, you will angle yourself with this window right here. You're going to be going top AC. Moving here. Right? Just like so. Just like this. And you should be hitting top AC. Should have, at least. Um, you might have to rotate to another window. I think I overshot it, in my opinion, and I was hitting back here. I'm not quite sure where I was hitting with the grenade launcher. Looks like a bullet went through here somewhere oh no let me kill myself again um i really want to try to find the angle for this because it's, it's very helpful um of course you might just need to play around with it work on angling and stuff and eventually you should be able to knock it down and get the angle going because it's it's very useful you know you're going to be killing the guy camping up top on ACI. so i think right here is the angle actually something like this I don't know if I'm getting hit markers with it or not. But you can you can angle the grenade launcher and you can kill the people on top of AC. Right? Um, it does help. I think he was camping up here when I killed him. I don't know. But basically, yeah, you're just going to be attempting to shoot up here. It, it does work. Of course, you might need to play around with it just to get the angle right. 
but yeah, that's basically gonna be it for Terminal. Let's go and get right into the next map, shall we? Sorry about that. Hello everyone, welcome back to the tutorial. Um, so we're on underpass, right? And going right off, right over B flag, you can sit down here and wall bang this. Um, this map doesn't really have that many wall bangable spots. It has a lot of weird angles you can shoot through and stuff. So for instance, like you can shoot through this stone wall, right? Up there, through the back alley, right? Um, some miscellaneous pieces you could shoot through. So like someone's up here, you know, you do your thing, shoot into the wall. This whole wall you can shoot through right there and right here. You can also shoot through the bridge wall as well right you can shoot through this whole building right here um just like i have shown previously if you're like let's say you know you want to get some kills this right here covers this whole part right Got here Disregard that. so for instance like you can level this whole part out right here try to get a few kills granted you're gonna become a target if you do this but it does work um this building right here you can go to you can shoot through this whole wall right here. Um, this is a hard point spawn, so they typically spawn to the top and down to the right. So you can shoot through this wall right here, and this wall right here, right? You can shoot through this door right here. Um, you can shoot through this wall right here. There is a spawn point in that corner. If you get the spawn just right, you can spawn kill them right there. Um, you can shoot through this wall right here on both sides, of course. So, if you know, you see them right here. You're going to ping it. Moving here. Go prone. Shoot through it. Um, you can shoot through this whole wall right here. This big wall. This building, actually. Um, on both sides, right? You can shoot through this right here. This little retainer wall. You can shoot through this right here at an angle. This like so. Shoot through this. Like that. You can go to mid-map right here. And you can shoot through the corner of course um let's Moving ping here. that you can shoot through this whole back part of the map um it's gonna be a little hard though because as you can see on the map there's a really thick area right here and there's most likely an invisible barrier Moving inside here. of it but for testing purposes we're just gonna try this out right so yeah as you see you can't really shoot through it, which makes sense right because if you could that'd be very very easy uh, you could shoot through this whole wall right here. Moving here. Right. This whole back stone wall. Um, back over here in the main spawn. You can shoot through these two stone walls if you need to. This whole metal building right here on the second floor you can shoot through. Especially going down here. Especially right here as well. And up here, actually, there's a cheesy spot you can go to. So you can shoot through here. You can shoot through this wall right here. And you can shoot all the way over to this part of the Moving map, here. right there. And of course, if you get an advanced UAV, you can help out even better, right? Um, you can shoot through this wall and this wall right here. And there is a glitch to get outside of the map for this. I'm not quite sure how you do it. Um, I've seen people do it on Twitter. I just don't really know what part you had. I think it's in this alleyway somewhere, right? I think they strafe jump onto this or something. I'm not sure. But basically, you can get outside the map. I'm just going to mess around real quick and see if I can do something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's a bug where you can get up on this roof and all that fun stuff. And uh, last but not least, this area right here. For some reason, the frame of these windows are bulletproof, so you can't really shoot through them, but you can shoot through the wall. This glass window is bulletproof for some reason, just, just like the frame, but you can shoot through this wall right here. And also you can shoot through this wall right here as well, right? You know, you see someone camping right there or toward mid map, an angle on them. But that's basically gonna be it for this map. I mean, you can do a lot of cheesy stuff, Right? So you can probably post up right here in this corner with an assault shield. Right? And uh, probably get an angle on someone on bridge or something. You know what I mean? It's like cheesy angles like Moving this, here. you know? Shoot them on A-flight or something like that. So there's, there's just a lot you could do. It's just 
it's not really ideal because a lot of it will resort to camping. Um, but it will get you one step closer to doing your challenges, man. Um, let's just go ahead and get right into the last map for this. We're going to be doing it on Wasteland. And after that, we're just going to be doing the outro, of course. Just All right, so getting right in here on Wasteland. Um, as you can see, you see a lot of brick walls and a lot of trees right just like how we've been able to figure out you can in fact shoot through them especially little shanty buildings like this as well you can go ahead and angle yourself up shoot through it do your thing right no biggie um just like i've shown you know you're going to angle up see someone move to the right you know see someone move to the right or the left or whichever way really works for you now just know wasteland is pretty campy i'd be honest right but there's a lot of things you can do to work out in your advantage like for instance right here center of the map is somewhat of a high traffic area so you can use this wooden piece right here to get wall bangs right but if you go into mid map you know you got this right here you can use this piece to get wall bangs right this middle piece to get wall bangs and this piece right here wall bangs right and it works for both sides as well not just one sided essentially this side is pretty cool because they do spawn to the left and to the right so sometimes when they funnel down into here you want to angle yourself to where you can only see their heads and you can just shoot them through here just like that um trees you can shoot through a lot of the trees on this map you can shoot through this building right here um you know you're angled up you know you got an angle Kill them, got an angle, kill them, you know what I mean? Uh, these brick walls right here, you can shoot through these brick walls all around the map. It just is not just one specific area. Sprint, jump on top of here, and you could shoot through this roof on the building, right? Just like so. And then we're going to go over to this side of the map. Now with Wasteland, um, the spots you can shoot through are a lot. It's just not ideal for really what you're trying to do, you know what I mean? Um, so you can shoot through this barricade, of course. That's pretty solid. You can shoot through this shed over here. You know, shoot that way, this way, that way, that way. You know, anything really that you really want to do. Um, just like I just stated, these brick walls you can shoot through. Telephone poles you can shoot through. These poles, them. Um, you can go all the way back here if you want to. I mean, that's if you want. You can shoot through this. Same thing with right here. You can use this as an angle this all back here this building over here you can shoot through this whole building right see an angle on someone move left or right whichever one really works for you and then this building right on over here you can shoot this whole building as well right some coming through mid shoot them shoot them rotate if you need to which i would always recommend rotating after you get a few kills so you can catch someone else off guard and rotating honestly can be anything from changing stance to angle or even position um that's basically gonna be it for the video really hope you guys did enjoy it um please tell me down below how these spots did in fact work for you and if you found any other spots that you could potentially let others know about but we're just going to conclude it here it has been a pleasure my name is sweaty and i hope videos like this do in fact help you get one step closer to not just completing your challenges but being a better player like I did say earlier in the video, Call of Duty is just like a huge game of chess. And basically outsmarting the people you're playing against by learning information such as this can get you one step closer to achieving a kill streak, your challenges, or even a nuke in the game. Who knows? But hey, it is what it is. It's been sweaty, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys have a nice day, and I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching today's video. It absolutely does mean a lot, and I love you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. It's been a pleasure.